California's Griffin Cola Pinto takes on Brazilian Jadson Andre. Knife and barrel, big hit. Pretty You're much looking for the barrel. barrel yeah. You're looking for the barrels off the start and you're getting hit after it. Yeah. Yeah, no one's doing 2-2. Two -two. Okay. What a dream to have the world's best scoring conditions on a Sunday here in Portugal where it's top to bottom spitting barrels. Griff, he's deep, beautiful off the bottom, and he will come out of that nice and clean. Goes all floppy, shows us he liked it. Here comes Jadson, nice hollow cave. Gets a completion, quick reaction off the lip, he'll lose the finishing move. While Jadson struggles, Cola Pinto finds his rhythm in the pristine conditions at Super Tubos. Wow, again, from behind it, bigger wave and just see the spit comes out. That's the kind of intensity of the wave. When you have that kind of uh, vapor coming out the end, you know the wave was intense and very hollow. So that helps the score. You know, to get super tubes pretty much all time right now, it's a dream. What kind of results are you looking for here at Super Tubus? Um, you know, I want to win, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As competition moves into the round of 16, Kelly Slater is up against Griffin Colapinto. Griffin Colapinto, ready for probably one of the heats of his life. Griffin has been looking better and better through the year. And here he is grabbing the rail really nice and deep actually on that section, and then comes out clean with a big backhand shrack in the lip. So looking really good out there. Here we go, Kelly, seen something he likes, he's committed. Look at this, nice and thick, and he goes, and he's deep behind the curtain. Kelly right back at this and well within striking distance. This man keeps swinging, we've got Cola Pinto. Exiting the tube on the back end, doing a great job hunting under Kelly's watch. Kelly Slater from the deep end of the pool. If he comes out of that, he's gonna get it. Didn't have quite the drive, and that was a very long section. Kelly got his one way, but that uh, wasn't enough. He needed two. Congratulations to Griffin. Griff took out the GOAT, and that gives Griffin Colapinto a lot of confidence moving forward into the quarterfinals. Uh, I feel really good with that midseason cut and all. You got to be kind of getting results. So, you know, to, to make a couple of heats so far, and I'm hoping to go on to win the contest. I took my first one, and I, it wasn't a very good one. And then Griffin got his two ways behind mine. He got his left that was pretty good. So. Had I waited two more waves after waiting like 10 minutes, maybe I would have had that and could have changed the flow of the heat, but just the way it goes. Well, this right, brother. Both hailing from San Clemente, Griffin Colapinto and Coloe Andino share a special bond as competitors. Brother's been a huge mentor to me. He's five years older than me and like, he's always been so cool and him and his dad have always been like so helpful with me. And Coloe Andino took Griffin Colapinto under his wing at a very early age has always looked out for Griffin Colapinto and has been a big part of Griffin's development as a professional surfer. Two good friends from the same town, Kolohe older, Griffin just getting started, and for some reason Griffin seems to get the jump on Kolohe quite a bit for goals. And now a first ever Triple Crown champion from the state of California. Griffin Colapinto is your U.S. Open of Surfing champion being friends, but also like competing for the same thing. It can get a little bit weird, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was gnarly. <laughs> you want your friend to do good, but at the same time, you're like, it's a weird clashing of feelings, you know? Good job. Thanks, brother. Be here for you. I try to work on is like being excited for my friends, you know, celebrate the blessings of others, because we're all blessed to be on this tour and competing. So, you know, God chose them and it's their day and enjoy it with them. He's definitely really like worked hard to show that he's like really truly happy for me when I do good. Even myself, I want to be truly happy for him too. Well, good job. Love you too. Kolohe and Dino is one of those guys who's always there for you, but in a heat, you know, obviously there's no friends. The quarterfinals continue and Cola Pinto faces Andino. The master versus the apprentice. Gloyandino, no problem. That's a full rotation on the back end. Nice way to start his matchup against Colapinto breaking away. Yeah, finds himself a corner here. 
and throws up a big punt oh, oh, oh. and whips it around. It's a massive one and a crucial moment in this heat. 7-8-3. Tola Pinto goes into the lead. Griffin's getting a good start. He's looking free without priority. And all of a sudden, this left-hand wedge comes to him, and he goes to the sky. And why? And he stomps it. That thing was huge. It looked like he was floating in slow motion and landed it so perfect. Call it what? Call it a 10-point ride. Perfect 10, our first of the season. I'll tell you. Unbelievable performance. It almost felt like I won the contest for a second, but then I realized I still have more heats to surf, so got to bring it back, you know, I'll enjoy the moment. But, uh, you know, once I go to bed, tomorrow's a new day. 23-year-old Griffin Colapinto represents the next generation of title contenders. The Californian has made a big impact since he joined the championship tour in 2018. Oh Bomb drop gosh. for Griffin, he's deep. This wave spits oh. everything out and Griffin oh. makes it. Absolutely perfect. Tens across the board by every judge. Oh my God, that was the best barrel of my life. <laughs> for Griffin, 2021 was a breakthrough year. Griffin Colapinto is your U.S. Open of Surfing champion. All day, baby, all day! I haven't had a win since I was a junior, like 16 years old, and it's been like a burden on me, and I just, yeah, it came together. Last score now coming in for Colapinto. Not enough. And our surfer in that top five position out. It's a sad story. It was a career year for Griffin, but the season didn't end well for the Californian. He missed out on competing in his backyard at the WSL finals by one spot. It was a super hard pill to swallow. And like, I remember I came in from the heat I lost and I was so just devastated. I'm sorry, man. When you lose, you, you learn way more because it's like, it stings so bad that whatever lessons you had learned right there, you'll always remember because of how much it hurt. I can't believe that last save didn't give me anything. When I heard that, that we were going back to lowers for the finals, it's like the best news ever, because <laughs> I just wanted to be going for a title in front of all my friends and family. That's like such a big motivation for me. With an opportunity to compete at his home break for a world title, Griffin is looking for a shot at redemption. My goal is to win a world title this year, for sure. I just think about myself when I was super young. That was like my biggest dream ever. And I don't want to let that little kid down, you know? I want to like do it for him. In semifinal one, Griffin takes on two-time world champion, John John Florence. Yeah, if you're looking for a cheeky slingshot, that's down there after a what, what the battle? Griff will use the priority here. He'll have to just drive around a section. He'll go above the lip and collect the rotation. He'll get a little clip on the finish, too. Here we go with John John Florence. A nice snap from him, a stinging turn, then a bit more rail in that one. Meanwhile, behind him, on a drawn out right hand, a flaring up hard. Oh. Cola Pinto gets it done really nice. It is so amazing to do it in such a tight space. He's done it again with a single big outrageous maneuver. Oh, that was crazy, too. This was just a heat that got away from John John. Meanwhile, Griffin Colapinto just going to be continuing on being in form here at Super Tubos. I kind of feel in that clear minded state. It doesn't really seem like that big of a deal at the moment. You know, if I could take this one out, it'd be the best day of my life. The final is set as American Griffin Cola Pinto faces Brazilian Felipe Toledo. Now trying to start things off quick against Felipe Toledo. He throws down the nose pick reverse. Meanwhile, on the other side, we have Felipe Toledo. Backhand snap with a fan of spray to the sky, quickly down the beach for Toledo. So Griffin needs a 7-5 here. Hard off the bottom, big vertical for Griff his best ride so far and his first lead change here in the final and Toledo's on the hunt going straight up hammers the first second vertical solid and complete late to the end section meanwhile Griffin on another set drills the first lip line hammers the second again and things are getting exciting 
going to be close. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's going to be close. They could go 8 5 on Felipe. Scores in for his last a 7.53, almost matching Griffin's best for Griffin. It was a 6 6 7, so he got his lead back. It is looking bright right now for Griffin Colapinto with the lead and priority. And of course, Kolohe and Dino four, wants to be first three, on the scene. Two, one. A big hug and embrace. He does it for California and he does it for San Clemente, the male pro Portugal champ. Presented by Rip Curl, Griffin Colapinto. I love you so much. I don't even know. It's it's so weird. You just get in this mode where it's like you're not even thinking about anything, and you know, even winning, it doesn't even feel like the way I thought it would feel. You know, I'm still in this like kind of calm state where you know it hasn't even set in. I can't believe the people I had to go through to get to this win. I'm just, it's it's uh, as good as it gets. <laughs> we haven't had anyone win from California since 2009. That is a long time. It's 2022. Huge win for Griffin, huge win for California.